Hey guys, Courier Girl here. So I'm sitting in a parking lot waiting for a tow truck. I got to my first delivery. My van was fine, no problems. Went in, did my stuff, came back out, and it wouldn't start. Or I should say it started and then immediately died. Um, if I gave it gas, it died quicker. If I didn't give it gas, it idled for maybe 10 seconds and then just turned itself off. So the battery's fine, the starter's fine. I just got a new starter put in a couple months ago. So my mechanic thinks it has to do with the fuel line, either a fuel pump or the fuel filter. They're gonna figure it out. But I'm waiting for this tow and it's been over an hour now, so I'm not getting any work done. Um, but that's all right, I can rearrange my schedule today, I think, and it will still all work out. And I have another car that I can drive. As soon as I get to the shop, the mechanic will take me back to where I live. Another car is there, no big deal. I'll be on my way again. But it got me to thinking, okay? I've had this van two years. It's got 242,000 miles on it. It's been a great van. It runs really great when it runs, but these things are starting to happen with no warning. Like the starter just stopped starting. I had to get a tow. Um, fortunately, that one was from where I live to the mechanic, which was just a couple miles. But now, here I am, 15 miles away, and I'm gonna have to get a tow. So, and my tow coverage doesn't cover all of it, so I'm not gonna have to pay much, maybe like 10 bucks, but there's the waiting, the not working, the aggravation, and the cost of getting it fixed. And I'm just like, I'm noticing this van is starting to cost more and more and I paid it off a few months ago and I thought wow I'm gonna save that that payment which I was paying like $300 a month on it even though my payment was only $210 a month but I was paying extra to get it paid off quicker and then I made a lump sum payment a few months ago because I was just done with it um, but now it's like, is it costing me more than $300 a month to keep this van on the road? And the last couple of months, the answer is yes. I had to get a new starter. I had to get a new control arm for the passenger side. Um, oil changes and stuff I don't count because I'm doing those anyway. But there's been, oh, and then there was a problem with the ABS or whatever you call it, brake system that was kicking in randomly it's not doing that anymore and they didn't figure it out but it could become a problem later on in the year and so i'm just like is it time to start thinking about getting a different vehicle um, when you have a piece of equipment or a vehicle you have to say to yourself when has it outlived its purpose when is it costing me more to keep it going with maintenance and with stuff like that than if I just got something newer and had a payment again. And I don't know the answer to that. Now I know that the price of used vehicles was up pretty high for a while. It's starting to come down, but it could be a while more before I find something that I'm looking for, something that I, I wanna drive. I don't really need a van for what I'm doing right now. It's nice to have that extra room, but I could do it in an SUV. I could do it in probably not a small car, but a midsize car. I, so I don't really need to have this cargo van anymore. And it doesn't mean I won't later, but right now I don't. I like it because it gets great gas mileage, but um, it's not needed for the job that I'm doing. Now in the courier world, jobs can change on a dime. so. You don't know. It might be better to have something like this than to not have something like this. Because if I didn't have a vehicle that could handle all the stuff, then I would be eliminated from some jobs. Now, on the other hand, I can't do the work that a full-size van can do. It's just not big enough. So you're always going to be eliminated from some or some other ones you can do. There's always going to be pros and cons to everything. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here reflecting on that and I'd like your opinion, you know, when do you decide, and this is if you're doing courier work or if you're not, just with a regular vehicle, when do you decide that it's getting too expensive to operate? Um, 
because that's what I'm thinking about today. And I'm not making a decision right now. I mean, I'm going to get the fuel problem or whatever the problem is fixed and on I will go. But I sure don't like this getting towed stuff. Up until a couple of months ago, if my van had a problem, I could always drive it into the garage and have it fixed. But now I'm having to be driven into the garage and I'm just like, I don't know. So yeah, these are my reflections for the day. I'm going to go back to waiting on the tow truck driver. So have a great day and see you on the road.